Bayonetta was released in early 2010 and was met with mixed reviews. Some loved it, some hated it, but how does it hold up? Find out today on Vega Goose's review. In Bayonetta, you play the Umbran Witch Bayonetta, fighting the minions of Paradiso, while at the same time trying to figure out your lost past. The game begins in a graveyard with a nun and Joe Pesci burying a man, or more precisely, praying over the casket. Without warning, the minions of God descend from the sky and the fight is on. During the battle, Pesci is joined by the man in the casket, Morpheus. Alright, let me stop here. Their names aren't Joe Pesci and Morpheus, but look at them. That's what I've called them in every playthrough, and so that's what they're getting called here. Their in-game names are Rodan and Ezio. Anyway, we got our first look at the bad guys in this scene, and you can really see the design of them here, and see that these are some twisted looking creatures. You also get your first look at the flow of combat as our hero Bayonetta is revealed. This is where the tutorial takes over and where our review begins. Let's get started with graphics. The graphics of this game are not bad. In 2010, at launch, these were pretty good. In particular, the enemy design and environment were well thought out and designed in such a way to be unique. On top of that, each level starts exactly where the last one ended, giving the game a real sense of flow, even though the game is broken into levels. One gripe I have is, during cutscenes, even though the characters are animated, the mouths don't move. Plus it has a very weird art style where you see the edges of film reels and things. This really seems out of place for this game and it almost makes you feel like you've stepped into Beautiful Joe. While not a huge gripe, I do feel it needs to be brought up. Overall, the graphics are in a 7 out of 10. These graphics are great, but not really special, and those cutscenes are really annoying. Next is sound. This is one area where, to me, the game kind of falls flat, because the soundtrack is mainly filled with J-pop, and frankly, I don't like it. Now, if you like that music, then you're going to enjoy the soundtrack, but if you don't, you may want to turn it off in the options menu. There are a few good things, but that J-pop is just so grating to me. Otherwise, the voices range from great to cheesy as hell. However, that is what the game wants it to be. They don't take themselves too seriously, and neither should we. Now, Morpheus, or Rodan in particular, is very good, really funny, and manages to add something to the narrative. Overall, the sound earns a 6 out of 10. The voice acting is above average, and the music to me is at the very least annoying, with a few exceptions. That said, the music isn't too bad, and if you enjoy J-Pop, you're going to really, really like this. As a matter of fact, if you enjoy the J-Pop, you'd probably want to bump this up at least a couple numbers. Next up is Gameplay. The gameplay of Bayonetta is very similar to a Devil May Cry or God of War game. It's very easy to pick up and play, but mastering the combo system is harder than you might think. Now, to make things clear, it's not nearly as deep as God of War or Devil May Cry. It's sort of like a super easy version of those games. When you pull off a long combo, you do feel a sense of accomplishment. And it does make you feel like you're playing a very powerful character. However, that said, this is much closer to an old school button masher. Style-wise, I would compare it to Golden Axe for the Genesis and Double Dragon for the NES. You can also upgrade and buy new weapons and power-ups at Morpheus' shop, giving a reason to collect all the halos your enemies drop. Plus, you have a special move called Witch Time, which stops time temporarily when you dodge correctly. This comes in handy not only for tough boss battles, but also for solving the game many puzzles. You can also learn how to shapeshift into different animals, which varies the way you play the game. One area where the game shines are the boss battles. Each is unique, and it really makes you feel like you're fighting something that is absolutely huge. On top of that, the kill animations are brutal, as you send giant hair monsters to destroy the enemy. It sounds weird, but trust me, it's really fun. They don't take very long, so I can just show you one. the gameplay earns a 6 out of 10. It's great fun beat em up action, but not much else. Next up is the story. The story of this game, while complicated, 
is involving and by the end everything has made sense. This game is one of those few games that while taking itself not very seriously and kind of being a little silly, it does make you want to see what happens next. However, be prepared, as it is filled with corny acting and a cliched story we've seen at least a hundred times. Overall, the story earns a 5 out of 10. It's average, and the amnesia story has been done to death. There are a few funny moments, but overall it's just average. Next up, Customer Care. Now, Sega has always done right by their fans, and this game launched with very few glitches and no bugs that I could find. Sega did a good job in advertising the game's launch and making sure everyone knew exactly what to expect. Overall, the customer care was season 8 out of 10. After all, it's Sega. What could go wrong? Bayonetta earns a 34 out of 50. If you're using a 10-point scale, that would be a 6 out of 10. If you're using a 5-point scale, it would be a 3.5. Now, it's not perfect, but it's a good game. It has an interesting mythology and a good main character. The sexuality is a little overdone, but it's done in a way that makes it a fun character that both men and women seem to embrace. As an add-on, I would say the game only sold 1.3 million copies, and the sequel was cancelled by Sega just two months ago. However, it has now been revived on the Wii U as an exclusive title from Nintendo, so it will be interesting to see where the franchise goes from here. Until next time, my name is Vega Goose saying if life's got you down, throw it into God mode and keep kicking ass. I'll see you next time.